The next night, I took my seven-year-old out with me to see if I could recreate the magic for him. He'd been out with me before in a tree stand during the fall, as well as on the ground during Spring Gobbler last year, and he did pretty well. We'd been sitting this time for over an hour when the heat, humidity, and bugs began to get to him, though. He was well aware, though, of that magical last hour, but was ready to head back to camp. He just pulled his bug mask off when I told him, let's just sit here another five more minutes, bud, and if we don't see anything, and then we'll head back. It wasn't even 30 seconds later when movement through the thickening brush about 50 yards in front of us caught my eye. I told him not to move until I said he could as the doe started coming in towards us. Out of the corner of my eye, though, I saw binoculars ever so slowly being raised. And I knew, though, with the bug net off of him, at some point we were going to be in for trouble. The doe could sense that something wasn't right, and she cautiously kept advancing. But eventually, she had more than she could stand to take. Turned to reveal she'd recently given birth, blew, and away she went. It was the closest he's ever been to a live deer. You know, with the exception of the crazy one and a half year old spike that we affectionately named Patch two years ago, but that's a whole other story in itself for another time. It was also the first time he's ever heard a deer snort before, so he had all sorts of questions. You see, times like this in the woods are so rewarding and are all the more meaningful when you have someone to share them with. I'm sure 30 years from now, he and I will still be talking about that time in the woods with that one doe. Find somebody that you think might be interested and take to the woods. Or for that matter, take someone who thinks they'd have no interest in the woods, and you both might just find more than one thing that surprises you. 
Sowing the seed for a lifelong love and passion for the outdoors is something only a mentor can do.